Hey you guys, welcome back for part two of this live room transformation. Last week we did a DIY shiplap wall along with finally attaching our DIY fireplace and decorating for spring. In today's video, we will be finishing up this makeover, you guys. So I'm starting off with unboxing my new coffee table that I'm totally in love with. So thank you to Homeary for sending me this coffee table you guys I know it's like my fourth coffee table that I had since I've been in this house but again I haven't finished this living room since we moved in if you're new here we moved in about a year ago maybe a little over two years now and man I have changed this living room so much but I just felt like it wasn't done until I finally had some customization so now that the ship lap wall is done I knew I needed a another coffee table that was more my style and this one is perfect they have it um advertised as a modern farmhouse type of table and that's exactly what it is and it's my first real solid wood coffee table it's super heavy it just feels luxurious and i'm in love with it home mary is a site that has a ton of home furniture and decor all things of that sort faucets lighting rugs and of course furniture and all their furniture is beautiful it's modern and they even have a 48 hour dispatch option where you can look at things that will be dispatched in 48 hours to your area and what i love about this coffee table and you guys will see me style it a little bit later it's one of the biggest factors in changing this living room but it was super super easy to build i don't know if the rest of their furniture is this way but this was only three steps super easy and i was able to download a pdf of the instructions right on their website so it was super easy home mary was kind enough to give me a seven percent off discount code for you guys both in the u.s and the uk so you could use that coupon code to go ahead and get seven percent off the entire website look through their stuff they have amazing furniture pieces and i'm sure that if you're in the market for a new furniture piece or anything of that sort that you will find something that you like on their site so i'll leave all the information in my description box of how you can get that seven percent off thank you to homeary for sending me this coffee table again and now again you'll see me decorate it in a little bit but first i'm gonna add everything else starting with a new area rug you guys so you guys know i used to have the all white one i think it was my texas house and it had like that 3d effect on it and i am in love with it i'm in love with everything white as you can see by my couch but my toddler is now too so it just wasn't working for me my um sofa has removable cushion covers so i can always um take them off and remove them when it came to the carpet white was just not it so i got this carpet off of wayfair and it's actually a washable carpet and i love it it was only about when i got it 160 dollars here and you guys if you go on ruggable for a 8x10 washable rug it's so much more so i love the price i love the pattern i love the dimension that it adds and now it doesn't bother me that I have a lot of white in my living room because this carpet breaks it all up and it is a little bit thinner than um, a normal carpet because again it's washable so you do have to get a rug pad if you want that more of a plush feeling but it doesn't bother me and then you guys know these have been my side tables since we moved in they're from target and they come in black and gold when i first moved in i thought that gold was the way to go i had a gold mirror in here and i moved that to my guest bedroom if you saw that video but now that i don't have the gold mirror there really isn't any more gold that this goes with so i decided to do them black and i wasn't gonna buy the same table in black so i just bought a can of spray paint and it completely transformed them so i'm just gonna put those back up as well as the table no one dared to make the first move you and me in the night two souls in the moonlight i stare into your eyes and you into mine i am perfectly still like we have frozen time i don't want this to be over don't want the morning to come 
Also, I did leave up my kind of taupe color curtains that I changed recently. You guys know I used to have the sheer white ones for spring and I changed this for winter and I was debating on changing them back to the spring light colored ones but you guys definitely let me know if you think leaving these colored ones kind of breaks up all the white a little bit more or should I try adding the the spring ones back This is also a change that I made that I'm in love with. You guys know on that side, on that further side, I used to have both of these chairs. And now that I have this rectangular coffee table, I thought it would be nice to put one on either side. So you guys let me know how you like that new layout. And then I just added my stool from Hobby Lobby and a planter from Hobby Lobby. And I stuck my olive tree that I had from Target back there. I do want a bigger one, but this is all I have and Again, a lot of money went into that wall and I just wanted to save money where I can. The same thing goes for this mirror. I wanted a different mirror. I knew I wanted a black trim mirror, but I had this one from our first home and it's a little more farmhouse that I would like because of the rope. And But again, I wanted to save money. It's from Amazon and I ended up really liking the way it looks. I may change it in the future, but you guys let me know how you like it. <laughs> Love and heartbreak was our life We got drunk and smoked your dead cigarettes Dreamt of a life in a big town Skyscrapers and neon lights Now, as you can see, it's looking a little bare in here, so it needed some color. We're decorating for spring, so we're adding those blues and yellows and greens that we've been adding to the rest of the house. And I have been having a lot of trouble finding pillowcases that I like. Target is just not it lately, so I found this website called Woven Nook or something of that sort. And I just found it on a Google search. I had no idea. And they have beautiful pillows. And this actually came in a four pack for $50. And they gave me a code because it was my first time. And they also gave me a code to share. So I'll leave that in my description as well in case you guys like this. They have other four packs. And in my opinion, they're a great deal, especially with a code because you're getting them for a little over ten dollars and that is not out of whack for a pillow cover at all and i already had the pillow inserts the first two actually came with my sofa and they're really really thick have a lot of feathers in them so i did have to squeeze them in there but it turned out okay This throw is actually a very old throw. It's kind of like a green grayish throw that I already had and I haven't used it since my old house. And I was planning on getting a new throw and even like a new pillow for the chairs. And you'll see I used a pillow that I already had from Target last year. And I just want to say it's okay to like shop your home and use things that are old in new ways because I ended up really liking how this throw turned out and I didn't think I would. I wanted to get like a green knit one that I saw at Target that was like $35. But again, we spent a lot of money on the wall. I mean, not as much money as obviously getting done by a contractor, but it was a lot of money. So I was just trying to save money wherever I can. I sold my coffee table and my rug to be able to buy certain things and this is the pillow I'm talking about. It's from Target and on the other chair I'm gonna put a five dollar blue throw that I also got from Target. So literally the only decor that I bought for like cushion wise and covers were just those covers and this five dollar throw. So I ended up saving a lot of money 
And yeah, I just don't want to be a part of adding to the noise of saying you always need new things. It's okay to use things that you already have. Buy one or two new things to completely change the look. Do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone? Before you get to meet someone like you? This has to be my favorite part. I always wanted a nice big chunky like statement piece to go on my coffee table, but my coffee tables were never big enough. It just looked crowded. But now that I have this one, I was like, I need to order this big stone looking one from Hobby Lobby that I've always seen on some of my favorite decorator, decor, decorators, what am I saying? Decorators page and YouTube. And I added these florals from Hobby Lobby. I wanted baby's breath, but... I didn't find them and the ones that I did find at Hobby Lobby were a bit expensive so I do not know what these are called. I found them in like the dried floral section and I love them. I love the spring touch that it adds. They almost look like wheat but in white. Maybe they are wheat. I don't know. And then I just filled the base with some moss and I also, you already saw this, but um, stuck them in some flower foam. I'm okay if I got you, we don't have to stay, we can do what we want to, just give a little bit of your heart, give a little bit of your heart to me. All the most scars start to heal, when I'm with you and I can't explain how I feel, when I'm with you just give a little bit of your heart. Give a little bit of your heart to me Just come give me all your love I want you to know We can make it together Let the wind blow All we need is each other This little rope bin is from the Target dollar spot. It was a last minute find the day before I filmed and I thought it would be perfect to hide all the remote controls because we have one for the sconces now, for the fireplace, and for the TV. So a lot of remotes to hide and then I'm just leaving my busted up book that my daughter completely tore up but I'm still gonna use it on my coffee table. I love the look of an open book um to like a decor page that matches the season on top of the coffee table and then for the side tables i'm just adding picture frames that i always had here and just one little bunny from the target dollar spot on the other one but everything else i already had and after this i'm just going to be lighting a candle to set the coziness and i'm going to be showing you guys the progress all the way from the beginning until now i hope you guys enjoy this two-part living room makeover it truly was a journey this is just a testimony to say that part of making a house a home is taking your time take it day by day i know when i first moved in i wanted to just change everything at once and i'm so glad that i decided to do it room by room because now i can finally say that the rooms that we have touched i absolutely love and i cannot wait to do the rest with the rest of my house so if you're looking for change in your home this is your sign just be patient take it day by day room by room until you can look back and finally love every single square inch of your home i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one god willing as always